Hi, we're Heavy Metal Beer Club. And today we are drinking the Trooper Day of the Dead. And it's by Robinson's Brewing Company in conjunction with Bruce Dickinson, the lead singer of Iron Maiden. It's a Mexican beer. 4.7% alcohol by volume. On the back of the Trooper box, this it's a gift set. It talks about Day of the Dead, which is Dia de los Muertos, which is a Mexican tradition regarding uh, honoring those deceased relatives or actually honoring the deceased. It's a Mexican style beer. Mm -hmm. So we have some limes out ready to go just in case. We'll try it the way it is just to check it out. And that gift pack, it comes with two oh Dia de los Muertos. We walked into Total Wine and saw this, and I go, oh my gosh, look at that. So we looked back farther where we knew the beers were. This was the last one, and we got it. It also looks like King Diamond on the front. Yeah, it does. Eddie looks like King Diamond on the front of it, which is really cool. And on the bottle itself, you'll see Eddie looks like King Diamond. I wonder if they they tried to make him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. love that. That's pretty cool. Gotta love it. That's a, a medium copper color. Let's Give that a scent. Well, first we'll do it without the lime. Okay. Mm, yeah. That smells it, good. Already, I'm kind of smelling lime in it already. Yeah, me too. Wow, that smells really good. It's got a little fruit. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. It does taste uh, like a Mexican mm -hmm. beer. So good. I'm a, I'm a real fan of the Mexican style ales when they're made really good, the beers. This is really like a tasty. darker, like a, a darker, almost like a, a dark uh, Dos Equis. Mm -hmm. Really yeah, flavorful. That's I would, yeah, that's what I would equate it to. Wow, Very it definitely has a lime kind of flavor yeah. in it. Shall we give it uh, give it a little bit of lime in it as well? So. It's got that flavor that we like in all those summery beers that, you know, when you don't like summer and you like a beer, it's a good thing that tastes like summer. And this is our third Trooper beer that we've tried so far. And so far my favorite has been the red and black. That was extremely flavorful. Red and black is, you know what? I think this is my new favorite. Oh really? Well you like the, you like the Mexican beers quite a bit though. This is my new favorite, Super Day of the Dead. This is killer. This is just so good. Now let's try it with the wine. Okay, I already did. <laughs> yeah, so that is good. nice. I mean, nothing really stands out a whole lot other than a traditional, refreshing, kind of a darker Mexican beer. Not a dark, but you know, not a, like a Corona. A little more intense flavor. Yeah. But like it's Dos Equis Amber. Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's. But, but better, I like it. Yeah. It's way better. And on the scale of one through five, what, what would you say? One through five for a Mexican Amber? I'm giving this a five. Wow. Excellent. I would give this a, a four, a solid four, because it is flavorful. We've liked all the all of the Iron Maiden beers. They're all different styles, but um, <laughs> he didn't like them all. I do, for what they, Sorry. they are. Sorry, and you know what? Because I, I, and I say this every time, except for the red and black. He does I not love like the... the red and black. That was just an awesome beer. He's looking for more of a real, like, punch Bold you in the flavor. face yeah. flavor. Where Put me in the I, mosh pit type of beer. Yeah, but I like that sometimes. But sometimes you want something a little less. This is a wonderful. It is. And adding the lime made it really summer yeah. and good. But I would drink it without a lime for that for the reason just to get the full flavor. Yes. Although I would put maybe just a small squeeze and leave it on the side. After reading Bruce Dickinson's <laughs> book, What Does This Button Do? It's interesting to find out how involved he was in the beer making, or is, I should say, in the beer making process with Robinson. What does Bruce Dickinson not do? I know, he does it all. The guy's involved in films, books, he's a pilot, of course, the lead singer of one of the biggest, biggest metal bands. bands in the world. I guess you would just have to say he's a really fun guy. He's, yeah. Uh, he's got a, a fencing. love for, he he's loves, into fencing. He has the a love for just, life. Again, like I said, I'm a huge fan to begin with, but even after reading his book, you're even a bigger fan, and he's very cheeky in it, so it's very fun. I like how you use cheeky a couple of, every time that. you talk about anybody English or who's thick as Well, it depends on if they truly are. Well, because then cheeky is the word they use over there. Well, yeah, but it, it's, it's very up. applicable, because I wouldn't but say it is Steve, fun. Steve Harris, the bass it's, player. It's like between sneaky and funniest cheeky. Steve Harris, I wouldn't say that he's 
He's more serious. He's not cheeky. Yeah. <laughs> no. He'd probably appreciate that he said this. <laughs> he probably would. But, um... Was Bruce Dickinson? But, but yeah, Nico. Nico, the drummer, is cheeky. Nico's very cheeky. cheeky. <laughs> yeah. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, and, and stay metal. metal. Oh, yeah, we got to do a thumbnail. Oh, yeah.